Welcome back to Way with Docker. Today's album, or today's record for record review. Heaven in Las Vegas by Cocteau Twins. I love Cocteau Twins. I've been on a dream pop kick, as many of you know, from my weekend music stuff, you know. Cocteau Twins, The Sundays, Sugar Cubes, Lush, Cranberries, Mazzy Star, all those groups. I love it. I love just like that spacey, very... It's something about it. It's just like, and like female vocalists, I just prefer generally when it comes to music just because I think they just it just adds that extra element of spaciness to the song and I don't know I, I just tend to enjoy that a lot more I don't know if that's no I mean that's definitely whatever I I like female led bands generally more and this is obviously led by female vocalists um and they're such a unique group in the sense that like the lyricism isn't that essential to the enjoyment of the music because you don't know what the hell they're saying 90% of the time. And they're an Irish group. Like, it's not like they're speaking another language. Like, I, like there's not really an Irish language. It's more just like a dialect. And they're just kind of just, like, making noises. And it works. Like, well, let's get into, let's get into the, you know, playing the record and then talking about it. But, I mean, I love this album. It's not my favorite from Cocteau Twins. Milk and Kisses is my favorite. I really want to get that on vinyl. Um, like, Cask and Smack is probably my favorite Cocteau Twins song. But it's probably their most critically successful, their most iconic. This cover is just so ingrained in pop culture i feel like it's, it's such like an essential and it, it just looks so sick like I, I i love this record so much the colors on this is ridiculous um yeah let's give it a listen and then let's talk about heaven las vegas by cocteau twins Okay, so just gave it a listen, and I mean, this album is just so, I don't know, it sonically, it just sounds like it's so 50 years in the future, like they're just doing something on this album, and you know, on, on most of their albums, it's just, it, I mean, it's just, it defines their sound, but it's just, it just sounds so, it stands alone, I feel like, in what they're doing, um, and it just like, it, 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 it feels like it's, you know, <laughs> Like I said, it just feels like it's from, like, 50 years in the future. Like, when I heard Cherry Killer Funk for the first time, I was like, was this song made in, like, 2060? Like, how are they making instruments and, like, production and everything sound like that? The vocals really add that extra element of, like, f like futurism or, I guess, like, retrofuturistic kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like a, 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 a song like, you know, like, Ice Blank Luck, um, like, um, I Wear Your Ring, like, I feel like it would fit right in, like, a Blade Runner movie. But yeah, like, they just have, it's just, it's insane. I, I, I can't fathom the creation of this music. Like, I, I, I want to just be in the studio, just, like, seeing them mix these sounds and vocals together, because it just sounds so insane. Like, I don't know, it's, it just blows my mind. If I had to pick a side, Cherry Colored Funk is one of my favorite songs of all time. Like, I think it's just one of just the best sounding and just best songs ever. It's not my favorite Cocteau Twins song. Like I said, Cash Can Smack is my favorite. But Side A has, you know, Cherry Colored Funk, Heaven in Las Vegas, the title track, um, and Ice Blink Lock, and like 50 50 Clown, Pitch the Baby. Those are all great. But Side B, Fru Fru Foxes and Midsummer Fires and Fostopolik are really great. I Wear Your Ring is also really good. Road, River, and Rail is also really good. Um, I'm gonna go side A, I feel like. I just think Cherry Color Funk and Heaven Las, Heaven and Las Vegas just elevate those tra uh, elevate that side to a whole nother level. Um, but yeah, wonderful album. Uh, not that much to the slip on the inside, just as like, you know, an extended bit of that cover art. And then the actual record itself has like a really cool design on that inner circle as you saw on the video um but yeah i love this album definitely in my top <clears throat> like 20 <coughs> 20 of all time and honestly like i know i said milk and kisses is probably my favorite album from them i think this is probably my favorite album it's just that Kathleen smack is my favorite song because this one is just so just top to bottom and like it's one of those albums where it's like yes the cover does um 
it does add another level of enjoyment to it. Like I just, I listen to these songs, I look at that cover and I just feel like, like I want, I want to listen to the song and then be in like a wrap around, like, you know, like, like the volume that they use for like production, like on the Batman, like that wrap around LCD screen that they can put images on. I want to like listen to this album with like over the ear, like insane noise canceling headphones. And then be in like a wrap around room with this cover with like a bunch of just shifting shapes. I feel like that would just be like an, an, an insane experience. And like smelling something that adds to it, I don't know, but yeah, just one of like the best sounding albums ever. Like, it's just so good. I I can't fathom it. I don't know how to explain it, but listening to it, it just feels like I'm on like another plane of existence. So yeah, Heaven in Las Vegas, great album, great record. Buy it. Nice to have in your collection. It just sounds so good. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. But that's crazy if you haven't. Peace out.